Zetterberg. I'm an attorney with Rust Law LLC in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We specialize in business law, land use law, estate planning, and estate administration law. My primary area of practice is estate planning. So you can imagine a question I get asked often is, what happens if I pass away without a will? There are many complications, stressors, expenses involved if you pass away without a will. So in this short video, I am just going to address what happens to a married person's personal property if they pass away without a will. I'll speak to what happens to a single person's property in a separate video. So when a person passes away without a will, what happens to their estate is governed by the rules of intestate succession. Intestate means without a will. The rules are different in every state and I am licensed in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, so I'm, I'm just gonna speak to what happens in those two jurisdictions. And they are different in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. In the first scenario, just say a married person passes away and they do not have children and their parents are no longer living. Now, this is the one situation where the rules are the same in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. The surviving spouse will inherit everything. Another scenario is where the person who passed away did not have children and their parents are still living. In this instance, in Pennsylvania, the surviving spouse receives the first $30,000 of the estate and then shares the remainder equally with the parents, the in-laws. In New Jersey, the surviving spouse receives the first 25% of the estate, up to $200,000, and then three quarters of the remainder while their in-laws receive the remaining one-fourth. When I tell people this, there tends to be a, a shocked reaction. Many people assume, perhaps logically, that their spouse would automatically inherit everything their own. So learning that without a will, the surviving spouse would have to share the estate with their in-laws, it, it's an eye-opener. So the third situation is where you leave behind a spouse and the children you had together. In Pennsylvania, like the previous situation, the surviving spouse receives the first $30,000 and then shares the remainder of the state equally with the children. If the children are minors, they do not receive their inheritance until age 18 without court approval. And this might not be the ideal situation. If the person who passes away is the primary income producer, it leaves their surviving spouse not as well provided for. Now in New Jersey, the surviving spouse does inherit everything. Obviously, if there are prior relationships and prior marriages, it does get more complicated. Um, if, if you were married and you have children from a prior relationship and you were to pass away, in Pennsylvania, there is no first $30,000 distribution in that case. Instead, your surviving spouse and your children from the prior relationship equally share in the estate half and half. So the surviving spouse and their stepchildren. In New Jersey, the surviving spouse inherits the first 25% of the estate with a cap of $200,000 and then splits the remainder with the stepchildren. Again, many people are shocked to hear that their spouse might not receive everything and in fact might only receive half of the estate. So if you pass away without a will, the state instead of you determines what happens to your property. We all work hard for what we have and for a relatively small fee, you can have your will done ensure that your property goes where you want it to go to and you provide and protect your loved ones. Please contact us at Rust Law with any questions. If you'd like a free consultation, it will be our privilege to serve you with your estate planning needs. Thank you. Mm -hmm.